Awala, or cutlass fish as they're otherwise known as. Um, this oak's a little bit old, he's been in the bottom of the freezer, you can see his eyes are a bit sunken in. But uh, yeah, they work well nonetheless, they are, they've got a good shine, they swim nice and straight because they're quite a, quite a slender bait, so you can pull them in current, you can pull them on jet skis. Um, you know, it, it would be my bait of preference on a jet ski because uh, basically you don't have the, the, um, the speed variation that you've got on, on, on a boat or on a paddle ski, so, so these baits really trawl well. We use these out in the deep here. Um, particularly of carpenters. Yeah. And they, yeah, they, as I said, they swim well. They, uh, they're visible from a long way away, so it's like a big, a big, uh, big number plate, and uh, yeah, they, they catch, catch good fish. Yeah, I'm just putting in a couple of trebles. So uh, there are a couple of different ways to rig them. Um, some guys rig uh, from the lead hook, they rig on, on both sides, but I tend to just put on one side, and uh, as you can see, there are three trebles there. Um, I like using the the six extra strong trebles, they, they work quite well. You put a bit of pressure for the sharks. And uh, as you can see, I've put a duster here. I've used the, the dark duster. I thought the water was going to be nice and dirty here. So um, I generally use a darker, high contrast um, duster so that it's, uh, you know, it's a focal point for the fish. In dirtier water, things go a bit yellow. So uh, a nice dark, dark duster sort of breaks the light a bit. So. But that's uh, the theory, and uh, yeah, on nice clean water you can use the, the pearl colours, um, or any colour. I always say the colour catches the fish and not the fish. So, let's see if we can get another cooter.